come with me to an undisclosed country where despite all odds, Adventist World Radio is bringing hope to the hopeless and setting the captives free. I'm Cami, and this is AWR 360. Raina grew up in a small rural village, helping her mother cook for their family and caring for her younger siblings. It was a simple and often hard existence, and Raina started to feel discontent. There must be a better, more exciting life for her elsewhere. She had heard stories of people going to the big city to find jobs and making lots of money. They would come back with glowing stories that only left Reina wanting to experience the big city for herself. Maybe she would find happiness there. Maybe she could earn enough money to help her family back home. Reina knew what she had to do. She packed a small bag with all her belongings and set off for the big city. I had never been to a city before and rarely ventured outside my tiny village, so the thrilling newness of this adventure gripped me with excitement. When I finally arrived and stepped down from the bus, my heart froze as the reality of what lay before me started to sink in. She had no contacts here, no place to stay, no job, and no friends. Part of her wanted to jump right back on that bus, but she had spent her last coins for that ride. I had to be brave and with renewed confidence walk down the street. If I could just find a job, I would soon be able to help my family back home. One afternoon, a man approached Reina. He had a kind demeanor and offered Reina a job. He promised she would make lots of money and would have plenty to send back to her family. This sounded like a dream come true and Reina was anxious to begin. She followed the man down streets that narrowed and got darker. Unbeknownst to her, she was selling her freedom and her body. What followed would bring my worst fears and nightmares to reality. I was betrayed by a kind man who is now my cruel boss. I was trapped, and as the dark days passed, hopelessness filled me. My boss did not fulfill even one of his promises, 
and I was paid so little that I often went hungry and lacked the basic necessities of life. One day, when her boss arrived with her meager weekly earning, he coldly informed her that he had no money to pay her and tossed a small shortwave radio onto her bed. This is your payment today, he said gruffly. Raina wasn't happy with this arrangement. She was hungry, and the radio wasn't going to fill her empty stomach. But she knew there was no point in arguing. Raina had never used a radio before, and out of curiosity, started pushing buttons and turning the knobs. Soon the sound of sweet music filled her dark room. Then a man started talking about Jesus, his great love for us, how we can call on him in our darkest times of life, and his promise to be by our side. She stopped to listen to these words, feeling like they were directed straight to her heart. Up until this point in my life, I had never heard the name of Jesus, but a longing was born in my soul to know more. I felt like a dirty, worthless human, but in that moment, a glimmer of hope appeared. I wanted to experience this unconditional love the man talked about. Raina didn't realize it then, but what she was listening to was broadcast from Adventist World Radio. She eagerly turned the little radio on every day as the words of truth began to set her imprisoned soul free. With every broadcast, there was an offer given for free Bible studies, and Raina finally mustered up the courage to call in. The kind lady at the AWR office not only signed her up for the studies, but gave her the address of the nearest Seventh-day Adventist church. I desperately wanted to leave this lifestyle I had been forced into. But when my boss caught wind of my religious activities, he was very angry and threatened to kill me if I left. I now had Jesus by my side though, and I wasn't afraid. One day, Raina escaped her dark little room, never to return again. She timidly made her way to the only safe place she knew, the local Seventh-day Adventist church. The members welcomed her so warmly. They didn't shun her, but offered to help and opened their arms to her in protection. Just a few short months later, Raina was baptized into the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I now live a life of freedom and joy in Jesus, thanks to that unlikely gift and Adventist World Radio. This is AWR's mission, to set the captives free. Will you join us in spreading the message of salvation and the unconditional love of Jesus to others like Raina? Your prayers and donations are changing lives. From broadcast to baptism, this is AWR 360.